Hey, what's going on everybody? Um, so today I'm gonna make a very special video where I'm gonna be doing my very first mystery box unboxing today. So like most of you know, I'm a huge nerd. Like as you can tell from the t-shirt, the posters, the pictures on my wall, I love everything nerd related. Like everything from comic books to cartoons, anime, collectibles, trading cards, all that stuff. Like I love everything about that and you know one thing that I know that's kind of a big craze right now is collecting cards and I know a lot of people out there you know myself included you guys we we grew up at least people around my age we grew up collecting two cards it was either Yu-Gi-Oh or Pokemon and I'm not gonna lie I'm a lot older now and I still am obsessed with collecting those cards. Like I still have my giant collection of Blue Eyes White Dragons, Dark Magicians, Exodia, the Egyptian God cards. I still have all that stuff, which maybe in a later video, I'll make videos kind of showing off my collection. But today I got a bunch of cards that were donated to me by my good friend Memo, A18. He also has his private card collection page that he has called Tyranitar A18, which I'm gonna give him a shout out and uh, I'm gonna tag his profile in here. So here we are. This is the box that he gave me. It's got a bunch of duplicate cards in there. He said there's a, it's half Pokemon, half Yu-Gi-Oh. So primarily I collect Yu-Gi-Oh cards. He's more of the Pokemon guy, but he said he wanted to give me some special cards in here. I have no idea what's inside this box. I told him, don't even tell me. Don't give me any clues. I don't want to know what's inside this box. To be fair, I do know what two cards are in here. I do know two cards, but they're in the back. So I know what those two cards are because that was kind of like a last minute thing. He decided to give me those like kind of right on the spot. So I'm gonna take those out first and pretty much everything inside this box is a complete mystery. I have no idea what's inside this box. So let's get to the unboxing, shall we? So here we go. Here's the box, nice little bronze box. Cool, cool little design, but let's be real, baby. We don't care about this box. We care about what's inside. So let's do this. I know the cards are facing this way, so let's open it backwards. So that way we don't get a sneak peek. There we go, nice. Let's put the box over here, kind of off to the side. So these two cards, I definitely know what they are. That's bam. Black Luster Soldier and Black, Glass, Black Luster Ritual. If you guys watched Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day, you guys know once this dude came out, everyone forgot about the Dark Magician. Like, this was Yu-Gi's strongest card in his deck back when he fought Pegasus. I mean, he was like the competitor to the Blue Eyes White Dragon. That's why he has the same base stats. But this card right here, classic. And look at the condition on that. Look at the hollow. Just beautiful, man. Just absolutely beautiful beautiful so let's stop fanboying over that and let's get to the meat let's get to it let's see what let's see what these cards are again I'm gonna repeat I have no idea what these cards are so every single reaction I'm about to have is 100% genuine so I don't know so let's start it off Volkion all right so I'm, I gotta commit I gotta admit something so when it comes to Pokemon I'm kind of out of the loop a little bit because I remember I was really obsessed with like Gen 1, Gen 2, and Gen 3, and around Gen 4 is kind of when I fell off. So I know the first three Gens pretty well, and everything after that is kind of like hit or miss for me. So if I don't know some of these Pokemon, my bad. You guys might know who they are. So Volkion, don't know who he is. Really cool artwork, looks cool. Farfetch'd, that's a classic right there. You know, basic bird Pokemon. Nothing to really get too excited about, but you know, he's, he's an OG, so we give him a little bit of love. <laughs> Dugon, Dugon's a classic. Dugon's a really good water Pokemon from back in the day. He was really reliable, especially when you learn like the ice attacks, like Aurora Beam and Ice Beam and stuff like that. Dude was a tank, especially against dragons. Seal, nice, the little brother. We like to have Seal. You know, he's all cute and adorable and stuff. Kind of looks like a little pit bull. Let's see. Magikarp, <laughs> Magikarp, oh man, I hated raising this dude, man. Thank God he turned into a Gyarados like around level 20 because, oof, 
grinding this dude was a nightmare. I know you guys know. You know the struggle. He was not easy to raise. Nito Reno. Nice, nice, very nice. This is one of my personal favorites, especially when he turns into Needle King. That was that was one of my personal favorite Pokemon from back in the day. Nidoran, the little brother. Nice, nice. The male. This one was cool. I always liked his design. I always thought he'd kind of look like a little like a little pissed off dog or like a little pissed off hamster. A little horn on his head. Sand Shrew. Nice. Good, reliable Pokemon, you know, it wasn't one of my personal favorites. I personally thought Sand Slash should look cooler, especially when he gets like the horns or like the, the spikes on his back when he evolves. But you know, he was cool, he had his purpose. Diglett, nice, nice Diglett. So, excuse me, uh, Diglett, one of my personal favorites. Uh, I actually like the trio, but of course, you know, everybody knows that a duck trio is just three Diglets, just hanging out with each other. Especially when you learn Earthquake, game over. Earthquake everything, unless you're a flying Pokemon, of course. And then it wasn't very effective at all. <laughs> Next up, we got Caterpie, the ugly bug worm Pokemon. I know I kind of flubbed all of my words right there. I'm kind of a little bit nervous, if I'm being honest, because I have no idea, like my hands are a little bit shaky. But you know, Caterpie's an OG. Everyone wanted to raise him quickly as possible and get a Butterfree, but Caterpie's cool. He's an OG. I like that. Ghastly. Ghastly. Very, very nice, man. Ghost Pokemon. The original three Ghost Pokemon. Him, Haunter, and Gengar. Dope. Love this one. Personal favorite as well. Nice. Another, another duplicate Diglett. Not bad, not bad. Looks like we got some commons here. Rattata. Not a personal favorite. I don't think he's really anybody's personal favorite, but you know, he was there. He's an OG from Gen 1, so I can't hate too much. Professor Oak. Nice. The trainer cards. Looks like we got some trainer cards in here. If you grew up collecting these cards, man, you just wanted the Pokemon. You did not care about the trainer cards. You didn't care what they do. They were support, but nobody cared. We wanted the Pokemon, damn it. We wanted to catch them all. Super Potion. Of course, always good in battle, always good against gym leaders and stuff like that. Gotta have some potions with you whenever you're going out trying to be the best. The very best. Another potion. Nice, nice. Venusaur Spirit Link, some more trainers. I actually really like the, the artwork on this one. Venusaur is a personal, and Venusaur was actually my first starter. I know a lot of people went with Squirtle or, or Charmander, but Bulbasaur was my guy, so. He has a special place in my heart. Let's see, Four Seed. I think he's a Gen 3, I believe. He's from Gen 3. He turns into a Fortress. Nice, it's cool to see him. First Steel Pokemon that we've gotten. Nice. Mew, we got a common Mew. He got really popular back in the first movie, so he's kind of a fan favorite for most people. Personally, like Mewtwo better, but you know, I guess you got to give love to the original Pokemon, right? Hatina, nice, nice, nice. Is this a hollow? Yes, it is. Nice little hollow. Okay, it looks like we're getting to the hollows. They're all sleeved. Nice. Thanks, Memo. Appreciate that. Showing these cards some love. Nice little artwork there. So we're going to put this one to the side. So like this, these were the commons. That was the hollow. Marine. Nice. She's from Sword and Shield. That I do know. I do know she's from Sword and Shield, so seeing this card is pretty cool. Nice little hollow trainer card. Scrafty. I've seen him. I've definitely seen him in Sword and Shield. Don't know much about him. He's probably one of the he's definitely one of the newer ones. So cool little design. Dark Pokemon. That hollow is fantastic though. Love it. Especially this little shimmer right here. Super sick. Hatterini? <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that one. Hatterini. Nice, another, I think she's the evolution of the other one that we saw. Actually, no, it's not. It's got that one right there. We saw, was it? No, it's, it wasn't. So, nice, we like this one right here. This one's pretty cool. I like the artwork, it's pretty badass. Altaria. This one's a normal, but I also think she's a dragon. 
but of course they never gave dragon pokemon like their own special type it was always mixed with something else like fire or water dragons was just kind of like a secondary type but this one's cool i remember this one this one's pretty badass and then we got machamp nice we got machamp right here this was a this was a good reliable pokemon from back in the day fighting pokemon just karate chop everybody especially with those goro goro arms he had four arms nice this one's dope i like the artwork on this one looks like he's throwing a couple of punches this one's badass i like this one obstagoon this one this one i've seen in sword and shield and of course i'm gonna see most of these because sword and shield kind of introduced me to all the later gen pokemon so i've seen him he was cool didn't really like his first evolution i thought he was kind of kind of whack not really impressive but he was cool i think he had like a pretty like a pretty badass metal look so he was cool he's cool in my book for for newer gen and what do we have here <laughs> oh nice charizard ex this one's dope man oh we got a little crease right there but you know what that's okay because this was a gift from a friend and it was free so i can't complain right and, you know i can't complain Kind of complain about free cards, you know? So this is dope, man. This is, I guess, you know what? I can honestly say this is my very first Charizard. As a kid, I never owned the Holy Grail cards, like never. So I, this is my first Charizard, my very first Charizard. So I'm super stoked about that. This is, this is, I feel, I feel like a kid right now, having a Charizard in my deck. Nice, I love the classic artwork right there. This is super sick. I know one thing I do know about these newer cards is like that just the splash artwork is just all over the card and I think that's really cool. I think it gives the card a lot of personality and it just isn't kind of stuck in one place. So that's that's really badass. Let's move it on. Blastoise EX. So I'm guessing this is a part of the same packs. This artwork is freaking dope, man. I think it's whew, look at that. Hollow absolutely beautiful man super beautiful i love it and you know what this is my first blastoise card too my very first blastoise that's so sick i love this thing so badass all right let's see what's next dude 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 no way Oh my god, dude, oh my god, oh man, oh man, all right, I gotta put these down, I gotta, I, I, I'm sorry, I, at this point, I don't even care, sorry, sorry for all the other cards, Memo, I'm sorry, dude, but at this point, I just genuinely do not care what those what those other cards are. This right here, oh hell, dude. Oh, dude, my hands are clammy right now. <laughs> oh shit. Oh man. Ah, oh, dude, it's. Oh, dude, this is so cool. This is badass. Oh, man. It's a little damage right here from the corners. But you know what? I genuinely do not care. Ten-year-old me would be freaking out right now. I mean, 29-year-old me is freaking out right now. Oh, man. This is sex C. I have to see this. I have to touch it. Oh man, it's got a little ding. It's got. A, it's not a perfect card, but you know what? I don't care, man. This was free. I was never able to get it as a kid, but as an adult, it was given to me. And damn, look at that hollow. It is beautiful. Yeah, you can see all the little imperfections there, but you know what? I'm gonna pretend like I got this when I was 10, and I'm gonna pretend this is Battle Scars right here. Oh, man, look at that. That looks phenomenal. Holy hell. Dude, Memo, thank you so much, dude. You didn't have to, dude. 
I know you have a pretty, like a pretty impressive collection of Charizards, but damn. Thanks, dude. Thanks, I appreciate that one. We're gonna keep that one right there, so that way it's in the rest of the video. Let's, let's get to looking at the rest of these cards. Like at this point, I mean, all right, let's see. All right, now we're in the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff, but dude, that right there made this whole video worth it. We got it. What is that? An honest? Nice. I I don't know what this card does. This one's new to me, so sorry if I'm not super excited about this one. Ah, oh, cheated! I cheated. Summoner Monk. Nice, nice. I've seen this one a couple of times before. Don't really know what he does, but I guess I'll read his effect afterwards. Jinzo. Jinzo, where is this from? All right, it's from the gold edition. It's a gold Jinzo. Sick, sick, sick. This one's a classic. Everyone knows when Jinzo came out, he completely changed the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Completely getting rid of trap cards. Bastard. Let me see. Don't know who this is, but that hollow is dope. It's from the gold collection. Nice. Number 88 gimmick puppet of Leo. This one's this one's a hollow, nice. You can just hear it in my voice, like the like the, the excitement is just like, alright, cool, just Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Cause I mean come on, once you get this bad boy, it's like that's hard to beat, you know? But this one's cool. I, I have a couple of these, so I know what he does. Luster Dragon, nice. Old school beat stick. Back when just beat stick completely dominated the game with beat down decks. This is so cool. And then of course, perfectly ultimate great moth. We got some Weevil Underwood. Weevil Underwood right here. Nice. This hollow's phenomenal. Look at that. Oof, beautiful. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That was my very first unboxing of cards. I know I my I probably stumbled on my words a lot. I came off as a little awkward, but you know what? First video, getting the jitters out, being in front of the camera. And I got me a Charizard, baby. I got a real Charizard in my hand. Not a first edition, not shadowless, not all that other billion dollar card, but damn. This, to me personally, is as good as it's ever gonna get, and I'm totally satisfied with this. So Memo, thank you for the box. Thank you for the cards, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I owe you one, and I'm gonna end the video here. So hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing. Hope you guys like looking at all these cards. Hopefully you guys felt a little nostalgic, because I know I sure as hell did. So until next time, and if you guys like this video, I'll definitely make more in the future. So leave a little feedback, and who knows? I'll start showing off the collection a little bit, my personal collection, so have a good day.